Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these cool high-tech brushes and how to make them yourself. So as you can see here, I've got this um, this little, what well, you can call it a stock pretty much, but they are a brush and you can make them yourself. So I've got that over here, I've got uh, these down here and these numbers here as well. You can make them however you like and uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to make these brushes. And uh, so yeah, this is a design that I've made of a speed art and the speed art will be up in two days so yeah look out for that as well so okay let me show you how to make these high these high-tech brushes so first off we just want to make a blank uh, page it doesn't I don't think the dimensions really matter but um, obviously the bigger you, the bigger is better just because um, if you have a small brush and you try to make it bigger then it will lose quality just like a regular image okay so once we've got this uh, white background make sure the background is white that is that needs the yeah it does need to be white you want to make a new layer just like that and um, you want to make sure that your foreground color is completely black even if you want even if it's going to be a different color on the design when making the brush it needs to be black because the darker it is kind of depends on the opacity of the brush and uh, yeah if it was if it was like gray then you would never really be able to get the full black effect of the brush whenever you're using it so just make sure that you are using a full black as your foreground color okay so once you've done that we are, this is where we literally design uh, the brush that we're going to be making. So to do this, you can use the pen tool, and uh, so yeah. For I'm just going to be making these lines here. So to do that, you just want to make this a point in there, and then you can hold shift just to make sure that all your lines are straight. And then if you do overclick, and then you can see that these two lines aren't parallel, you could go to down to this mouse over here, click and hold, and go to direct selection tool, and then click on the point, and you can just drag it in and uh, until you see that it looks right okay so now we've got this uh, kind of this um, irregular rectangle here you can just right click and go to fill path and just make sure this is on foreground color just so it'll go black and then make sure the opacity is on 100 percent and just press okay there we go okay so now we've done, now we've got this one um this one rectangle here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold alt and then we can duplicate it over and by holding shift we make sure that we may, uh, drag it over in a straight line just so um, just so it is level and not like goes off to the side like this so just hold shift and then it will be in the right positions and uh, I'll probably do one more and there we go and so once you've done that we can see that we've got all of our lines here we're going to merge all the layers together by holding shift and clicking up to select all of the layers and uh, then you can press Command E to merge them all, or Control E if you want to. If you're on a Windows computer, then you can hold, press Command on your keyboard and then click on the thumbnail of the layer, and then that will select the layer or the contents of the layer. Then what we're going to do is go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, and then there we go. We can name the brush if we want to. I don't really tend to name them, but uh, just press OK. And now whenever we go to our brush tool, which is over here, when you right click, you have all these options. And then you can see that we have our option there. If if you didn't have it fully black, this is how it would come out. Like you, you can't even see it. Oh wait, that's because I had the selection. But if you click, you can see that it isn't fully black. And the only way of getting it fully black is if you were to duplicate it. And uh, yeah, so it's a lot easier if you just use the um, if you just use full black from the start. And then uh, we can change the color of our brush just by going to the foreground color changing it to a red or whatever color you like and then you can now um, you can now use different colors so yeah that's basically how I design a brush so that's one we can do another one we can do is where you can just make any you can pretty much make any shape you like so if you think of something that might look cool on a banner uh, you can just make any shape and just go to just make it with the pen tool make sure that your foreground color is black just by pressing on this icon here they go to right click fill path and then make sure that's on foreground color and then press ok and now um, now just hold command click on the thumbnail go to edit define brush preset and there we go we've basically made two high-tech brushes and uh, yeah so you can use these on your banners as you can see they work pretty well here and I think they look pretty cool as well and uh, yeah so that's basically how you do those a nice quick tutorial for you guys and uh, yeah it's pretty useful I think it works well with, um, with the high tech style designs so yeah hopefully you guys found this useful if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video